Today I want to talk about HDR gaming on PC. Uh, if you have a console, there's absolutely loads of games to choose from. There's loads coming out all the time. For PC, however, there's only like about three games that I'm aware of. Um, unfortunately, if you spend all this money on a you know your new PC gaming rig and you've you know you think, hey, I'm going to play loads of stuff on HDR, you're kind of going to have to wait for more stuff to come out later this year. So with the three games. Um, I've loaded up one of them here called Obduction. This was one of the first games I tried out on HDR and uh, I just wanted to kind of show how it looks and talk about how to set up HDR a little bit. Of course this is quite a difficult video to make because I can't really show you how HDR works or how good it looks because unless you're running an HDR panel yourself you won't be able to see any of this. Um, you might be able to pick out some colour differences but Obviously, because this camera isn't recording in HDR and you may not be running an HDR TV yourself, um, you won't obviously see all the color benefits. But anyway, I'm going to show you some of the options and maybe you can pick out some detail we'll find out. So, um, I already have HDR switched on in Abduction. And um, actually, this is kind of the, the best place to kind of show you how HDR works with the... Uh, the kind of the bright colors um, of the junkyard here. So this is one of the starting areas. And for me, this kind of really shows or captures kind of how well um, the coloring works. So if I escape this and quickly turn off HDR, um, you might be able to see the color differences there. Um, when you're not playing HDR, it's kind of hard to tell, is it actually making a big difference? But for me, the difference is, it's like having at the moment, this is kind of really washed out looking to me by comparison. So this is typically, this is like playing a computer game. It's like, yeah, it's a washed out kind of game look and it's quite difficult to, uh, to kind of really get immersed in this. Um, I'm going to quickly pause the video and then flip back once this is in HDR mode and then maybe you can tell the difference. And now we're back in HDR. Um, I'm not sure if you can tell. Um, I think it's a lot more pronounced, the colors. You can certainly pick up the rust and the dirt on the, on the textures there. Um, one of the annoying things that I want to mention about HDR is that when you switch it on and off, um, the, the TV kind of goes into like this weird neon mode. So switching this off for a minute and then switching it back on. You'll notice here that the TV went into HDR mode. We'll talk about that in a second. You, if obviously you're trying to play in HDR, you need to make sure the TV is actually uh, going into HDR mode there. So going back into this, you'll notice all the colors look like this. Um, kind of neon when you kind of switch it on. I have this in Obduction Shadow Warrior. I have no idea why I have kind of like this neon. Um, but I found that if you alt tab into this and run it again, you'll see the colors are fixed. So I think that's just a quirk of my monitor or some weirdness there. But I do find that when you're flicking in between HDR or you just started a game, you will have to flip in between the uh, alt tabbing there to kind of switch the uh, the PC back into HDR. I'm not sure why about that. Um, one of the other things is I want to um, touch on Resident Evil. So I'm going to pause the video and once that's fired up, I'm going to show you that running. So here we are running Resident Evil. Um, this is with HDR off, so you can kind of get a feel of how it looks, um, particularly if you take notice of kind of the dresser area here and the uh, the wall. Um, you'll notice that this is running at 60 frames. Um, I've had to turn this down to 1080p because uh, this game just won't run at 4K, um, but that's another issue. Now, one of the problems of Resident Evil is that although it supports HDR, when I first tried this out, um, I found the picture to be too dark. So showing you the, the difference in the picture there without HDR running. If I switch on HDR in the menu settings here, um, bearing in mind I've already set up the brightness um, in the game to the maximum, you'll notice the HDR logo coming up on the TV there, which is great. 
Um, going back into the game, um, you'll notice that I can't really see anything. Um, and a lot of people have complained online that, hey, it's way too dark, um, I can't see anything. If I put this into the HDR gaming mode that has low, low latency, I can't see anything. And I thought to myself, you know, this is rubbish. I can't see a thing. Um, you know, I can't play this. This is, this is awful. And I actually messed around with the TV today and partly why I'm recording the TV and not doing a screencast. Um, I found there's actually um, a setting which you can go into. And to play Resident Evil, um, you'll need to change this advanced setting on your TV. Um, as I have an LG, um, it will be under advanced controls. Um, any other brands, I'm not sure what the setting will be, but they might have something um, you can try out. And to play Resident Evil, you'll need to switch on dynamic contrast. This defaults to off. And if I, for example, go into the options here, um, just to show you the kind of the difference it makes. Um, this is kind of one of the annoying quirks about HDR on PC. It's not straightforward. So part of this video is I want to show you how to kind of deal with this. So if I go into the brightness here, you can see this picture, which is kind of a bit washed out. And if I go down to high, um, you can now actually see it. Um, not sure how this is coming out on video, but it's the high dynamic contrast that now allows you to see this, uh, this amazing picture. Um, I've ramped up the, uh, the brightness in the game because it's an OLED panel, so um, it's not that bright anyway. So if I back out of this, and then go back into the game, coming out of options. And as if by magic, I can actually, I can actually see everything. Um, and it's, it's amazing. It's like, wow, look, I can actually play the game. And um, yeah, it's, it's really quite atmospheric. Uh, if I go into here and let's look at some of these textures over here. Um, I think this is kind of, this nicely captures how well HDR, if you're asking yourself, what are the differences? Um, is it worth investing in a whole new TV to do HDR? Um, do I want to buy a new graphics card or do I just even want to buy this game just because it supports HDR? Um, it, you know, it's definitely a yes. So if I um, pause the video and take this out of HDR, I find it's much easier to recognize coming out of HDR to recognize the differences rather than trying to spot them going in. So this is now running in HDR. Um, you'll, you can tell that because the, the frame rate isn't there. For some reason, the NVIDIA um, overlay doesn't support the frame rate whilst in HDR. So I'm now going to pause the video and um, now you can see it running without HDR. To me, the difference is like, this is like looking at a really bad PS2 game. So this is the kind of color you'd be getting if you weren't running an HDR, this is what everybody else is playing. Um, and, it, and it's not great. It's just like a really, really bad PS2. Maybe my colors were overexposed, I'm not sure yet. But if I put this back, if I'm gonna pause the video and put it back in HDR, and then be able to see if you can tell the difference. There we go. And now the same picture running in HDR. And to me, it's, it's just, you can't, you can't really express how much better the colors look and it it does really have this realistic tinge rather than running a uh, really bad PS2 game kind of look. Um, so the next game, I'm gonna pause the video and load up Shadow Warrior, which was, um, Shadow Warrior 2 in fact, which was the first game to support HDR. So I'm gonna pause the video and load up Shadow Warrior and talk about that for a minute. So we're now running Shadow Warrior 2. This is with HDR off. Um, it's quite a pretty game, and you've been, you'll notice that I'm running this at about 47 frames. Um, that's 47 frames at 4K resolution. Um, I've picked these nice kind of green um, leaves here to try and make out the best, um, you know, to see if you can like, tell the difference the most. Um, I find Shadow Warrior 2 doesn't seem to have the same... Um, kind of make that much of a difference putting this into HDR mode. It kind of makes, I don't notice it as much, but I thought I'd try it anyway. So I'm going to pause the video and be back in HDR and hopefully you can tell the difference a little bit. Um, also probably kind of make a note of the waterfall in the background and kind of see what you think. 
So here we go. This is now running in HDR. Um, I don't know how you can, if you can tell the difference, but to me it does look a little bit better. Um, obviously because I'm filming the TV here, you probably can't tell as easily. Um, now, one of the, the quirks about Shadow Warrior that I want to kind of briefly mention um, is that if you're trying to run this in HDR, you have to be running this in full screen. Um, when I first started playing this, I think I'd alt tab or something, I could not get HDR to, to come up, even though I had this option ticked here. Um, you cannot be running in full screen window mode. Um, it must be full screen because this puts the, the graphics cards into an exclusive um, full screen mode. Um, because the NVIDIA um, drivers are used for full screen, I mean for HDR, um, you must be running in full screen, otherwise you will not get HDR kind of switched on. Um, so that's just one more kind of quirk with uh, PC kind of gaming to, to kind of bear in mind. It's not like consoles where you switch it on and it's all going to be you know, working really well. You have to kind of, for each game, I've had to learn various different quirks. Um, also, um, Shadow Warrior does suffer from the, the alt tab issue if you're coming in and out of HDR. Um, and one of the other things I want to talk about very quickly at the end for the remaining part of this video is the driver setup. Um, so I'm going to pause the video and then go back into the NVIDIA drivers. So here I am, I've got the NVIDIA control panel set up. Um, this is kind of a bit more of a troubleshooting here. So if you're having trouble getting your HDR working, um, you'll need to come in here. Um, if you're running at 4K, um, which we are here, with a 60 hertz refresh rate, you will need to set your um, color format to 422. Uh, this defaults to RGB. Um, if you're running at RGB, you will not be able to get 60 hertz. Um, that's a limitation of the HDMI spec. That's not the TV's fault or your graphics card's fault. That's just the, the HDMI spec at the moment, which is I think is 2.0 A or B, um, does not have the bandwidth to support 4K with 60 frames at RGB. So you will need to drop down to 422 here. Um, as soon as you set this to 422, um, you will see the 8, 10, and 12 bit color options. Um, I've set this to, to 10 bit because we're going to be running HDR in, in 10 bit color. Um, this panel is actually uh, an OLED panel which will go up to 12 bit, but I don't have anything that will play 12 bit unless you're running Dolby Vision and Netflix. And um, that's just kind of one thing to be aware of that if you are trying to do HDR and 4K, you'll need to get this color format um, set up. Um, as the, the games are responsible for putting the, the TV into HDR mode, I kind of wanted to, to do this video because if, you're, if you've got these one of these three games and you're having trouble, I wanted to go over those because um, I found a lot of difficulty and had to do a lot of research to kind of figure out how to get all these things to work in HDR. So um, I hope that's helped. And uh, if you have any questions about how to set up up or troubleshoot, let me know because as you can see, um, I've got all the three games running and um, yeah, it makes, it makes a huge difference. Um, way more than 3D, probably way more than VR. And uh, I do recommend getting, uh, you know, investing in HDR if you want to play those three games. Um, you know, bearing in mind there are more coming out later in the year. And, um, you know, it's a good investment. So, um, yeah, so hit me up in the comments if you want some help or any questions. And, um, yeah, that's it for the video.